Hello everyone, this is me Arijit back with a new video and again it's a video on Raspberry Pi. So in short in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a NVMe SSD with your Raspberry Pi 5 or any upcoming Raspberry Pi models. So as we all know uh, after releasing Raspberry Pi 5, Raspberry Pi has officially launched a M.2 hat for Raspberry Pi. Now Raspberry Pi has a Raspberry Pi 5 has a PCIe connector where we can directly connect this uh, M2 hat and then through this hat we can directly connect uh, NVMe SSDs with Raspberry Pi. So we can instead of loading the Raspberry Pi OS from a memory card we can directly load it from the NVMe's and also we can store data in the NVMe's. Obviously compared to the memory cards NVMe's are a lot more faster, a lot more reliable. So using this M2 hat uh, you can directly uh, load uh, and work on the NVMe SSDs and you don't need the memory card. Okay, so for the first time installation you need the memory card after that you don't need the memory card at all. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can install this M.2 hat in your Raspberry Pi, how you can install the OS in the NVMe SSD and then finally also I'm going to show you a uh, like read write testing the speed difference between a uh, like class 10 memory card and uh, NVMe in our Raspberry Pi 5. So all these things we are going to cover in this video. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. So this kind of content you are going to get in future also. And now without wasting any time, let's get started. Now the very first thing we need is obviously is a Raspberry Pi 5. So here is my Raspberry Pi 5 and I already have installed the active cooler in it, but you can also do it without the active cooler. Now the second thing is obviously we need the Raspberry Pi M2 hat, so the NVMe hat and this is how it looks like. So now I'll just open the package and I'll see what things we are getting inside it. So basically three packets I'm getting. So one is this uh, GPIO extension. So this thing we have to just take and in the Raspberry Pi here we have to put it in this way. So we have to match it properly and we need to just push it a little bit and it will be done and in this way it should be installed. The next thing is we are getting the screws and stuff so using this we can just put this uh, hat over it uh, in presence of this uh, active cooler and obviously the third thing is the main thing which is then to hat. So here I'll take it so as you can see this is how it looks like now here we have to put our NVMe and here we have the FPS cable okay and this FPS cable we need to fit here in this PCI Express like this port here okay so it's very simple now I'll just use uh, this screw so that I can fit it properly in this way so in this way we have to fit it okay and then we can put the NVMe over it So I'm done installing the spaces here as you can see. The next thing is we need to connect this uh, M2 hat with it. So before that first we are going to connect the FPS cable with this PCI Express port here. So simply we'll take this. We're going to open, you just put this thing little up and uh, we will insert it. And as you can see, uh, it has been connected properly. So once it is done, next uh, we need to basically, we need to put this thing properly so the GPIO extension pins should fit properly in this way, in this way should fit it and this is how it should look like and finally we can put the remaining screws over it. Now we have connected the Raspberry Pi M2 hat with the Raspberry Pi 5 along with the active cooler and this setup is completely done. The final thing is we need to add the NVMe here. Now as you can see here you should uh, use a 2230 NVMe or 2242 NVMe. So 2230 means actually 22mm by 30mm and 2242 means like 22mm by 42mm. These two type of NVMe is gonna fit properly here and you can use this screw to fit them properly but in my case I don't have any of those so I'm going to use this like a uh, bigger NVMe here now obviously it's not going to fit properly but for the demo it is just going to work just fine so in your case also whatever NVMe you are having you just need to put it in this way put some pressure on it and you are done and you need to put in this way and then you need to add the screw okay in my case the screw will not fit because it's the bigger one but in your case it will simply fit into it properly okay so this is how we are done the next thing is we have to do the software setup
Okay, so as we have connected the M.2 hat with Raspberry Pi, uh, also the NVMe SSD, now it's time that we have to understand how we can install the operating system, the Raspberry Pi operating system or any other operating system in the Raspberry Pi. Okay. Now for that we need a memory card for one time because we need to first write the image in the memory card we have to we have to uh, get into our raspberry pi and then uh, we need to write the image on the uh, nvme ssd and then we are going to change the boot order by default it is sd card so by default raspberry pi always going to boot from sd card so then from raspberry pi we are going to change the boot order from sd card to usb okay so whenever we are going to do it to usb usb or nvme so both are same option so then we are going to change it to usb nvme whenever we are going to do it from the next time uh, by default your pi is going to boot from the nvme so from next time you don't need memory card you can just remove the memory card it's fine for the very first time only you have to put the memory card so you can get into the pi and then you can change the boot order from sd card to usb or nvme okay now how to write the image in the nvme ssd now there are multiple ways uh, the easiest way is obviously if you have a USB NVMe converter, you can simply put the uh, uh, NVMe SSD, you can connect with the uh, converter and then you can directly write the Raspberry Pi image through the Raspberry Pi imager to your NVMe from your computer only. That is the simplest way. But I guess most of the people are not going to have that USB to NVMe converter, I think. So I'm going to show you the other two methods. Now one method is, uh, is once you get into your Pi through the SD card, if from the Pi itself, so you have connected the SSD to your Pi. So now from Pi itself, in Pi only, you can use the Raspberry Pi Imager tool to write the image, the Raspberry Pi OS image in the NVMe SSD. Okay, so it is like you are inside Pi and now inside Pi you are writing that uh, image home, you write uh, Raspberry Pi image in the NVMe SSD. And then you change the boot order and then from the next time uh, it's going to boot from the NVMe SSD only. Okay, this is one way. The second way is you can copy the SD card content in the NVMe SSD. So you already have the Raspberry Pi OS written in the memory card. Now you can copy that content and you can paste it in the NVMe. And now again, if you change the boot order, it's going to boot from the NVMe SSD only. So if you have a, let's say, existing uh, Raspberry Pi OS you, where you have installed stuff and all that, then also you can do that. So you can just go into that Raspberry Pi, get into it, connect the NVMe, and then you can just copy the content of the memory card to the NVMe. So I'll show you how you can do that to the NVMe SSD. You change the boot order and next time the same Pi, the same OS going to load from the SSD instead of the memory card. Okay. So I believe the third one is the most easiest way and using that you can also migrate from your older OS to a, to a SSD. So from memory card to SSD you can migrate without changing anything. Okay. So I'm going to show you both of the things how you can do that. So now we are going to get into our Pi and I'm going to show you how you can do it. Okay, so the very first thing is we have to write the Raspberry Pi OS in memory card. For that I'm going to use Raspberry Pi Imager. Here first I'm going to choose the OS and here I'm going to choose Raspberry Pi 64-bit OS. Next I have to choose the storage, here I'm going to choose my 32GB memory card. I'll go to settings and from here I'll change the username password, so username will be pi and I'm going to change the password only. Next I'm going to change, uh, provide my Wi-Fi credentials, so I can just connect it with my Wi-Fi and uh, like get into it through SSH. Next I'll simply click on write and next it will going to ask me for the password, I'm going to provide a password and next it is going to take few seconds to write the OS in memory card. Once done, it will show here to continue, click on continue and put the memory card in Pi and power it on. Then you can simply SSH into the Pi using SSH Pi at the date Raspberry Pi dot local. You can also connect through HDMI, but here I'm going to connect through SSH. You can provide the password and once you are inside the Pi, I'm going to turn on the VNC for that sudo raspi config. And then we are going to get the like here the configuration. Here we are going to go to the interface options and from here we are going to turn on VNC. So just enable VNC, it will take few seconds. And once done, just click on finish. Now we can just use a VNC viewer. So I'm going to use a real VNC viewer. Here we are going to write raspberrypi.local again. 
and here we are going to provide the password and once that done we are inside the pipe so you can also use hdmi to get this screen directly okay now next we are going to go to the accessories and from there raspberry pi imager so now we are going to write the image in the ssd so here i'm going to choose raspberry pi 5 i'm going to choose the oss raspberry pi 64 bit and storage as you can see the ssd so 256 gb click on next here you can edit the settings if you need so you can just click on edit settings and here you can also like provide all the similar uh, info uh, we did last time and you can just click on uh, yes or no and then you can here click on yes and it will write on the ssd but i'm not going to do that uh, you can do it and it's going to work just fine but i'll show you the second option that is you can simply go to accessories from there you can go to sd card copier here copy from select the sd card because there we have our os and copy to ssd and you click on start and again yes it's going to take few minutes or few seconds to copy the from sd card to the ssd nvme once done uh, it's going to show something you like this click on copy or oh, okay and now we are done now before changing the boot order i'm going to go accessories and sd like as you can see speed test sd card so i'm going to do the speed test to compare the sd card and uh, nvme ssd speed difference Click on here, it is going to start the speed test and it will take few seconds. Like after uh, the test is done, you can say click on show log and it's going to give you all the like uh, parameters. Just copy the, for now I'm just going to copy it so that I can just show you uh, the difference. So I'll just paste it in a like notepad or something. And uh, now we are done. Now we are going to change the boot order. Now for that, I'm going to open the terminal and here I'm going to write sudo raspi config again. And from the configuration menu, as you can see here, we're going to go to advanced options. And from there, uh, boot order. And from there, we're going to select NVMe USB boot. Just click on it. It will take a few seconds. And very soon it will be done. So click on OK. And next, you can just click on finish. And I just click on reboot. OK. So now we are done. Now the OS has been uh, written in the NVMe SSD. And now we can simply again boot into the Pi. And in this time, it, when I'm VNC, so basically the OS has been loaded. And now this time it's on the SSD. I have removed the SD card from it. So you can simply write DF-H. And as you can see here, the OS is in the SSD. As you can see, 256, like not 2234. So basically we are now on the SSD. Now again, we are going to do the same speed test. So go to accessories and from there SD card uh, like uh, speed test. Again, run the test. It, this time it will take lesser time. And within very few seconds, we can again check the log and again we can copy uh, the whole content so that we can compare with the SD card values. So I just copy it, paste it in the same place. And now as you can see here, for the SD card one, uh, the random write speed is 1012 IOPS, so input output op uh, operations per second. So as you can see the numbers, the difference between the numbers are very high, the read and write test. So from here we can see that the speed difference is very high between the SD card and NVMe SSD. So in this way we can install the OS in the NVMe SSD and we can boot from it in our Raspberry Pi 5. So that's all about this video guys. I hope you have learned something from this video. In that case, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that we can make more contents like this in future. So that's all about this video and I'll see you in the very next video.